Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you so dearly for always tuning in. I really appreciate. Today, the first time you are coming across us, uh, so you are hearing this voice for the first time. We still remain progress news and we give you all the latest updates. Remember, in this platform, we react to all videos and your opinion is highly needed. So sit back, watch this video, and I'll be right back. I know they two remember their names because we are too plenty. You see, that man, the reason why they say sit at home, not because they sweet the people we want to sit at home or the people where they talk say make people sit at home. You know they sweet anybody. But somebody must be an escape goat. Sit at home means that referendum is for sure. They're asking for referendum. Referendum to for separation. Sit at home for the release of our brother who only came out to say, please give us referendum since the Babylonians are patching Nigeria. Who are the Babylonians? Your government are the Babylonians. Who are patching Nigeria? We are patching Nigeria, patching Nigeria. For how long are you going to continue patching the country? If your trouser tear, you get where you go patch your trouser or your cloth rich. You go rich, make it throw away that cloth. That's exactly how Nigeria is. For those of you who are not non-speaking Igbo, it's okay. Live in peace where you are. Somebody must be an escape goat. Mazin Namdekanu is an escape goat to all of you. Yes, Mazin Namdekanu has used himself as an escape goat to save every Yoruba man. Mazin Namdekanu has been an escape goat to save every Igbo man, to save every Calabar man, every Nigerian. He's not asking the referendum that he wants to go into his father's bedroom. No. It was like the, the suffering is too much. The suffering is too much. Those who are in power, they are listening to the imperialists. The imperialists, your colonial masters, they still bow to them. From religion to politics, these are the two things that are making us suffer so much. Religion and politics. And that moment, your colonial masters took that religion and come and dump in Africa. Why they go to church and they cross their leg? I don't go white man, people church well, well. They know they do like when they do holy, 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 holy. Like, eh, eh. If they want to go to church, they go because they want to go. They are not going there to pray for, for a job. They are not going there for healing. They go there to thank God. Thank God. On the line, thanks. Oh, thank you. Oh, we know there's a creator in heaven. Oh, we must go there to worship. If, let me tell you, oh God, I don't want to go into this guy. guy why is this, this Solomon? Calm down. Don't go into politics, religion politics. I'm going to talk about it. Jesus Christ that you went to worship yesterday was not a white man. He was a black man. Yesterday, when I was doing some teaching yesterday, I was doing some teaching yesterday about Vatican City. When the pagans and the Christians were fighting each other, the pagans were killing the Christians, and that's name, Yeshua, he was a black man. The white people refused to accept black Jesus. They refused to accept black Jesus until they brought a white Jesus to us. That was when the European accepted Jesus. They never wanted to accept that black Jesus until Vatican City now make a paint of a white man and say, this is how Jesus looked like. In order for the white man to accept your white Jesus. That is how they brought the white Jesus to you in Africa. Some of you, you make me angry. Till tomorrow when they look inside your phone, you're still looking at white Jesus on your phone. And that Jesus, they make you know, you know better for all of us. Your skin color has become a sin. I want you to understand where, where I'm going. Because these are the things they use in capturing us together. They make us have that inferiority complex. God is white. Jesus is white. Anything from black man is unacceptable. We are unprofessional. That's your color of skin. It's already a crime as a black man. So you as a black man, you will never be free. Even though they say they give you freedom, you will never be free. I repeat myself. We, the Igbos, we have accepted to use ourselves as an escape goat to save all of you. We become the enemy of the state. We have become the enemy of the state. When you ask another Nigerian who don't, who is actually against the referendum, against Mazinam Dekanu, against Simon Epa, against the agitators, ask them, how are you going to make Nigeria better? What do you think and who do you think is going to make Nigeria better? How? 
They keep patching Nigeria, keep patching Nigeria. Now, so now they gaslight us, say now we the cause problem for Nigeria. Not be we the cause problem. The, co the problem has been there since 1914. Obafemi Awolowo said it in, her, in his lifetime that Nigeria is not a nation. It is written in the book in 1914. They bring Yoruba. I mean, nobody was consulted. Of course, nobody was consulted. That was during the time when we said Una Grandpapa, Na Saliba, they take right their signature. Yes, write your signature, Una Grandpapa, Na Saliba. In those days, 1914, Na Saliba. This is how they, 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 just, they take saliva and that's how they. But it's, it, it still pains me to see one or two people who still believe. You see, let me tell you about government. Oh, so, oh, oh my, okay, let, let me go there. I don't want to go into this, but let me just go there. You see, the government will always gaslight you, letting you believe that those agitators are actually the problem of the country. They're actually the people who is instigating problems into. It's normal. It is normal that the government will gaslight. The, normal will, the government will bring propaganda. Now, normal. Now, so it be for South Africa. I was speaking to one elder in South Africa yesterday. I asked a question. I don't know if I could talk this thing today. I asked that elder, please, I want to ask you something. During that time that you people are fighting for freedom in South Africa, please tell me, were you people against each other? He said, ah, yes, yeah, so, yes, the government are buying some people to talk against some people. The government itself, they divide them. Say, oh, this province, those people, they'll be bad people. Oh. You see, they're not be, I mean, there was all this gaslighting and propaganda. And they said that they buy them. Did you, be, I ask, do you people in a particular time accept that other South African are bad people? Say, yes, we accept it. But not knowing that the government itself are using other people against the people. And I ask one question. When Mandela was there in prison, what else did Mandela do while he was in prison? He said he did nothing. I said, then, who were the people who keep agitating, boycotting, and all that? He said, we, the, first, the people on ground. We boycott. Sometimes we don't even want to buy anything from the store. Just to show the government anger. We don't have to, we don't want to have any, you know, you know please. I mean, in this area, I, I want to tell every Biafrans that all those propaganda that the government is using against us is normal. As a freedom fighter, you need to have a very stone. We are not waiting to call stone mind. We are here as a, a sacrificial lamb. Every day we wake up. We want to see people being free. We want to see people being happy. The government is not even doing any attempt to give you guys regular 24 hours electricity. The government is not making any attempt to save people. Who are being kidnapped or who are in what they are in a refugee camp government no no waiting they go do people who are citizens of a country in a refugee camp in all part of uh what they call a kogi or whatever not even in Enugu. we are not asking the government to give us money all we need is separation separation the reason why they say sit at home is not because simon Ekba or Mazin Namdekano, the agitators want to punish you, but there must be a sacrificial lamp. Take it or leave it. Me, that is supporting the movement here. I am an enemy of the state. Yes, to them, I am enemy. Because I tell the truth. They are going to tell you, those people on social media, oh, don't mind them, oh. now then they cause problem. Oh. And for those of, those of you who are not Igbo speaking, who are not the, those of you who are, who, are, who are not Igbo speaking and not supporting movement, we are here to save you. In a million years, you can't patch pots where they take cooked food. Make you patch them for one million years. You know, if you patch the cloth where you they wear, patch and the manager and the manager. Anything that you are managing in life, you get to where you go manage that thing rich, you go carry and throw away. You put it in the recycling machine and rebuild another one. Before man and God who made me, if Nigeria is divided today, everybody is going to do, it's not about gone. We don't even need to fight gone. We don't need to fight gone. We don't need it. Our semi-colonial masters, who are the Fulani people, they want to listen to the United British. They are afraid to say, okay, let us give them a referendum. Now they know which treaty where they sign with them. The reason why Simon Epa is pushing is to give the government a tough time. If you don't give the government a tough time, Give the government a tough time, as you give the government tough time, now so the semi-colonial masters who are the Fulani people, 
they are going to signal to the government in Britain that, listen, I think we should give them a referendum. Okay, I want to give you this. If you think, if you think what Simon Epa is doing is actually committing a crime, why haven't we been taken to ICC? Inter international international court take him to international court the Nigerian politicians have been severally to the embassy of uh, Finland and they told them this guy have a right this is his right now only person when no Sabi in right now he don't know say if you don't know how to claim your rights then you become a victim yeah you fall you become a victim I mean, yes. If you don't know how to claim your rights, the person where you're supposed to fight and claim your rights become a victim. Now you go become victim. As we speak, Nigerian government are, they are claiming to be a victim. The governors in Southeast, they are claiming to be a victim. They are not victim. You are the victim. What what kind of government you can't even you can't even protest when you are feeling pain? You keep quiet. They tell you just keep quiet and live with it. We don't have a good road. Yesterday I watched a video on social media. God of creation. In the eastern part of Nigeria, make see pothole. Moto de pass for pothole. Ah, God, I don't know if I can find this video. God of creation. Nah, man, una they suffer too much, una they smile. I beg, make una support, sit at home. It doesn't really matter. We have to push, annoy the government so that the government will also give up. Release Mazin Dam Dekano. Give referendum. Let's sit on the table and talk out, talk things out instead of killing each other. I don't support killing. Everybody have only one life. You think say the sweet me? You think say the sweet Simon Ekma or the sweet all those people waiting for social media? They go come every day, come they create awareness and talk about freedom. I believe the way we are defeated, so also the defeat. Sometimes you go sit down and say, make I talk, I mean, make I no talk. You, you are ashamed of yourself. Like every the world is watching us. The whole world is watching the video. Why can't we sit down and negotiate once and for all? Why are you keeping that man out there? The man has won you hands down in your courts of law. He was acquitted in your law court, but you are still keeping him there. For what? Just because you hate the Igbo people. If the Igbo people are not good to be president. <laughs> According to Simon Ekpa yesterday, say, so the Igbo people are not good to be president. The Igbo people are not good to become chief of staff. The Igbo people are not good to become e e uh, the, um, um, EFCC ch uh, uh, chairman. The seaport in the southeast must, uh, don't worry, you don't need international airport there. No, 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 they don't need international airport. Oh, on, on, don't mind those people. They think they're clever. Igbo people think they're clever. We don't go give them support. I don't mind them. I'm them. Be. No, even their governors. No, they don't. No. Anytime they want to talk about it. When I think the governors don't talk about it. You think the governors don't talk about it? They talk about it and they shut them up. You say, no, don't talk about it. You talk about it, you go enter problem. How on earth a Yoruba man will go and bow to the full animal before you become a governor? If they don't accept you, you can't become what you want to become in your state. This is all wrong. I, I see a lot of you say, no, Nigeria is good to go together. I mean, now God, uh, you, you people agree, like, God, now God put us together. Oh, really? Hmm? Now God create all of us. Okay, I want to give you an example of God's creation. God create different kind of beds, right? Show me. Bed, now bed, though, they have different species. Igbo man is a different species to Fulani species. A Yoruba man is a different species to Igbo man. Are you getting me? Must we be together? Because when you look at the sky, you are going to see the beds of different beds of the same feather. They are flogging together. Another one will be the same feather, they will flock together. If you throw away food for ground, where those beds can't chop, everybody will fetch for themselves. Like, oh, now our species be this. So instead, when they go fight their own species, they go fight. I mean, it is good that we become everybody, make everybody go to answer their papa name. Let's stop all these shenanigans. Blackmailing, propaganda, gaslighting. We all want everybody to live a better life. I'm not living a fulfilled life, just like you. Because you don't see millions of people on social media crying the same thing, does not mean that millions are going to come and save you. It takes God, only one man or two men to save your life. It's all, it takes only one commander. It's only it took it took it takes only one man. To tell you the truth, just like Yeshua, that Jesus Christ, we all of us, they worship. We all of us, they worship. 
it was just only one man, a commander. You have 12 disciples. Whatever he says is what the disciple does. Well, this is it at home. Me, I'm just here to pass a message to you. <laughs> yeah, I pass message to you here. Whatever they, they say, I'll come here to pass it. If you like, don't sit at home. In fact, let me see if I can. I, I don't. I don't think I can play anything for you guys. I'm sorry. I can't play anything here. They say sit at home. Sit at home because of the Babylonians. You have to. You have to show the Babylonians that you want freedom. Whether you don't want freedom or whether you want freedom, there are people that are going to push you to freedom because freedom is not a crime. Thank you very much. Good morning. Happy Monday. <laughs> me, I'm here. I'm not here to respond to any message. I, I said it before. I'm not going to come here to respond. Anybody where they write, write what you want to write. But for those of you who want to respond to them, respond in a good manner. Don't abuse them. Because a lot of people are still there. Something is wrong with them. You see all these, our evil, some of our evil brothers who are with Mazin the Kanu long ago, they come here to talk rubbish all the time. Some of those people talking here are full of people with evil name. They come to social, they want to use that to start propaganda and all that. I don't want to buy into that again. You can call me names. Call me thief. Only God knows. God knows. Change in life is important. That is why God creates a man and a woman to meet together and have a baby. From spermazone to that small fish where they inside your mama's stomach. From that fish, now so you go begin, that is process, change. Until that Peking go turn to a woman be, they go burn up. That Peking go begin to crawl. As they crawl, now so the Peking go change. Small time go work up. Now so life to be. Since 1914, show me better thing where Una don't achieve for that country. People don't reach 65 years, 70 years. Those where work with government, they are not collecting their pension. Those where they collect pension, the money is not enough. Look at your minimum wage. That person where they abuse me, look at the minimum wage. If you don't cry now, your children will cry. It's okay, call me names. Abu Monyara. Who is this? You can call me names. Wait in the worry this man. Wait. Uh, wait. Now they give me too much work today. Wait, let me. Let... Oh, I don't get this guy number here. Anyway, let me pick the call. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I have to go. Uh, uh, I have to go. Um, my supervisor, I won't help and carry something for your house. You don't tell me before in the morning. Say, please, I want you to help me with something. Bill, I say, you won't carry something down or carry something up. You can call me names. It's okay. Call us names and do everything. If you don't cry today, your children will cry. Remember, say, our, your forefather don't they cry since 1914. See, today we are still crying. You are all glamoring for one Nigeria. Our generation will go, but our upcoming generation will still continue to fight. But I believe that Biafra will come in this our generation. Thank you very much. I, I love people to call me names, but bro, you can call me any name, but your children will cry just like I, I cry now. As I cry now, I saw your children will cry. Look at all of Unawebon picking for abroad. How many of Unago points say these children are on their own? No, no, the picking one are born abroad, be on their own. Because they will never come back to that contraction. You can call me names. You don't marry your Yubo. Oh, say, look at my son. Look at my daughter. Now, half, half of Yubo, half black. Oh, it's sweet you. <laughs> Whether you're born picking with black or, or whether with Nigerian for abroad, those children will never come back and respect you. They will never come back. They won't come back. You get the money. Your property in Nigeria, nobody's staying there. You've never even lived in your house for six months. If they born you well, wait there for abroad now. Just tell your children, say, we are going back to Africa. If they born you now, well, we get children for abroad, say, you know, I know they talk of a baby where they carry for handle. All those natural children, we don't reach like 15, 20, 25. Tell them, say, eh, eh, we are going back to Africa. They are going to, you see, they go, go and report you. They will go and report you that you want to go and kill them. If you don't take care, they lock you up. So you get what you the plan. Because those children can never give respect to Nigeria. This is what we're talking about. Thousands want to escape now and go to America. Thousands want to escape to Europe. Thousands want to escape to Britain. Those children that are growing up there will never have respect for Africa because every time in school, they are teaching them that don't go to Africa. They are killing people in Africa. Don't go to Africa. This and this. Many stories, mosquito stories. When you die, they bury you. If you're lucky, they carry your dead body, go home. They bury you. Now only you go dead there. Your children will never come and give you flower. You were the call me name. Your children will cry tomorrow. Just like I'm crying. Let me go, guys. My this my balabai, they disturb me. My Bye-bye. So my wanna 
Thank you. 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 Thank you.